Hey man, can you do a favor for me before you leave today? Can you take all the files on this USB stick and rename them before you leave? It'd be great to have them before the end of the day. Yeah, sure. It doesn't seem like it'd be a problem. How many files are we talking anyway? Uh, I don't know how many are on it. So, it's the July 4th party. They want it all renamed so that we know that it's the July 4th party. They gave it to me a couple of days ago, and I told them I'd have it done by Monday. So, if you need to stay late, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Just call me and let me know. I'm going to get out of here early today. 1,500 files? How am I supposed to get this done and still go play Call of Duty tonight? Have you or someone else you've known been a victim of your boss dropping something off last minute of the day and needing it tomorrow? Don't let them do this to you. Let me show you how to take care of this in like less than five minutes. Warning, Ask Nerd TV may cause you to become more productive. Side effects may include becoming the office hero and IT magician. If these side effects persist too long, talk to your doctor about another career. I, I, you. <laughs> So you have 1500 files, 100 files, 20 files, 10 files, whatever, and you just need to rename them all and you don't want to do it one at a time, right? Who wants to do that? It's pretty simple. All you're going to need is PowerShell. So to do this, you're just going to click on the start button. You're going to type in PowerShell and then you're going to click run as administrator. Now in our example, the files are on the G drive. So to get to that, you're just going to type in G colon, but wait, what if you were on a different drive or what if it's in a different location well if it's on a different drive like d you just hit d colon if it was in a different place like let's say it was in the amd folder on my c drive well you're going to go back to the base c drive and then you're going to type in cd for change directory and you're going to go to amd cd space amd or if it was on your desktop you would do cd space users backslash your username backslash desktop now you're on the desktop so that's pretty much all there is to it to like changing the directory so let's go ahead and change the name of all of these files over here on the right i'm gonna pull it back up so you can see it so in my example what we wanted to do is the boss wanted us to change the name of these files to like the july 4th party so here's the script we're going to use and see where it says old dash file dash name dash part we're going to replace that with let's see These are the old ones, right? So let's replace that. What I'm doing at this point to paste into the window is I'm right clicking with my mouse and we want to name it company name underscore July 4th underscore party. Let's just say you can even add spaces in here. So if you wanted to, you don't even need the underscores. Let's just say they wanted it named that, right? So you type in this whole script and then hit enter and watch on the right. It'll take a second. You can see the numbers are changing. The reason why the numbers are changing is because the script is going through and renaming all of the files. It will, it's on a USB stick, so you have to give it a second. And this is a USB 3.0 drive. And there you have it, as you can see on the right. Now, if we go down, you can see all the way down, it renamed all of the files to company name, space July, space fourth space party so what if you wanted to get rid of like you know maybe you wanted it to look pretty or prettier 
How do you get rid of these parentheses? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You can just reuse the same code. Let me show you how. It's actually really simple to do this, and the command to do it is pretty similar. So I'm gonna show you that now. I have it over here in my little text pad of PowerShell commands that are useful. And here's the command. So pretty much it's the same command, but you just put the parentheses in brackets. And before you say anything, yes, I do know what that looks like, okay? Leave your immature comments down below about it. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And just like last time, this is gonna take a second, just wait for it to go. Um, and then you should see all the parentheses disappear. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna time lapse it now, so enjoy. There we go. As you can see, now the parentheses are removed. And I mean, you know, this might've taken longer than five minutes, but if you had it on your drive or something like that, as opposed to a USB stick, it wouldn't take that long. But the point is, is that like in the example, you're not here till like six, seven, eight o'clock at night on a Friday because your boss wants it done before Monday. Um, and especially with this, you know, pretty much you use something like this and you're the hero of the day. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like and comment down below. Thanks. Have a good one. Also, guys, I did a build with a couple of friends, one of them being Miko Rico, who has his own YouTube channel. Make sure to go check him out. I'll put the link to the video down below. This is just a post test video showing us uh, pretty much that all the components work before we install them. As you can see, I think the build came out super clean looking. It's an all white Corsair build. Very, very, very pretty system. So again, I'll put a link to the video down below. Make sure to go check out Miko Rico. Make sure to give him a like, a comment, and a subscribe on any of his content. He does both some computer stuff and some car stuff. So check him out.